could say that the University of Michigan's solar car team takes learning outside of the classroom, 6,000 miles outside to be exact. On this already hot, sunny, early spring day, bushflies swarm race crew members, hard at work trying to win the World Solar Challenge, an elite event every other year that attracts the most outstanding solar racers from across the globe. It's the team's second day in the outback, a place closer to a Mars landscape than their home base in Ann Arbor, Michigan. There's no speed limit out here, just the sun's strength to determine how fast the team can go. Yeah, it's a solar car, so... <laughs> <laughs> that bright thing in the sky basically determining everything. And it looks like a fine day for solar racing. Tennant Creek, uh, that's where we're going, and then the next stop after that is another 500 kilometers to Alice Springs. It's one of the longest stretches of the race, and so uh, if we can make it there tonight, then we'll be more than halfway done with the race. Five, four, three, two, one, go! The University of Michigan's car is called Momentum. It's been clocked at over 80 miles an hour. It's won races and set records. But still, it's not favored to win this race. First, there's the competition. 22 internationally recognized teams, some made up of professionals with sponsors like Australian car manufacturers and the European Space Agency. There's the weather, a little tricky to predict halfway around the world and across the equator. Predicting weather in Australia is a really unique challenge because everything's backwards. There's the road, the storied Stewart Highway, 3,000 kilometers of two-lane blacktop, a seeming road to nowhere, traveled by huge three and four trailer trucks called road trains. The highway's sharp, pebbly surface has already punctured three of Momentum's tires in the first day. It's been a little frustrating. The road surface here in Australia is different than that in America in that the, uh, the gravel I used to make it is a little bit more sharp. So it puts tiny little punctures in the tires or it punctures them completely. Despite the odds, Michigan sits in second place, trailing only Nuna, the Dutch powerhouse and race favorite. We know that Nuna probably has a more powerful array, just to guess, but we think that they probably have a more powerful array. We think that we have better aerodynamics. We'll see how it all plays out. 